Today I'm going to show you how to turn any Ants Wise TV box into a retro gaming monster. Let's get started. Oh my god, this is amazing, guys. <laughs> And all you need, guys, underneath the knee is one of these, an SD card, folks. Now, first off, this is a product from a company called Explosion of Fun. And they did send me this for free for with you to take a look at. So, if any of you guys are watching from exp nodes in the fun thanks for sending me this sd card as well as a usb sd card adapter so this tiny tiny little sd card has more than twenty thousand. you heard me right twenty thousand games available and even from SNES, NES, Sega Master System, Mega Swipe, and um, Nintendo 64, your Ataris, your Ninx, etc, Streamcast, PlayStation, PSP, all of them are on this tiny SD card folks. This just knows my mind away. So, what do you need for this to work? You need an ants white box. Obviously, you've already got that because you're watching this video. And also, if your box doesn't have a SD card slot, like an NVIDIA Silk, for example, which does not have a SD card slot. You can get one of these USB SD card adapters. So search them up on Amazon. USB SD card adapters. And they're easy to buy, folks. They don't cost many money folks right so all you do is get your usb adapter or in your case if you have a sd card not on your box you can just it in your box but for me personally even though i have a sd card not on my box i'll still prefer to put no good than fire USB. It just makes it easier for me to ump no and take it to any device. So all I do is just basically stuff it in. And as you can see guys, that SD card is in my USB adapter. I don't know if you can see, but it is in there. Right, so I'm gonna demonstrate this on the Bing and CT kin today. So all I do, find the USB port on my box and just plug it in, just like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is power on our TV box and watch this note for the first time. Okay guys, so the next thing we want to do is pair our controller. Now I'm using this easy as a max controller, but you can use a PS4 controller, a Xbox controller, or what have you folks. Whether it's powered by a USB or Bluetooth. And if you want to 
how do you power up your console your to your box if it's new roof first of all you have to put your console into pairing mode so google up how to pair ps5 console for your new roof and come back to this video once you done that and your console is in pairing mode you want to go to settings on your android tv box you want to go down to remotes and accessories it might be called new truth on yours but for me it's remotes and accessories so click on that and they will search for your new truth console and all you do is pair it from there since mine is powered by a usb directly i don't need to do this folks and actually if you are gonna get a cons one and you haven't got one already i would say get a one that's powered via a usb done go because you won't have any connecting issues like you do with new truth and the next thing we're gonna do is install that retro station so just to verify if we go to the storage in our settings as you can see it's reading it and as you can see this one gig available because that's how much storage it needs to run the games basically but the other 255 gigabytes is filled with games so we're gonna click on back and we're gonna open up a file monitor and if you haven't got one already and um, there's tons of file monitors in the google play store so just google up file monitors and download a file monitor i'd recommend you install the exp no file monitor free from the play store right so once we've got our file monitor installed open it up and then you want to browse our usb disk and as you can see mine's here folks so i'm assuming this is the one so i'm gonna click on it and here it is folks and the one we want to install is the apk file where it says rs install apk so we're gonna click on that and it will take a second to note and you should see red soul stays in for Android and then you just click install and now we'll install the red soul stays in for Android right so once this is done we're gonna click on open so we need to announce this otherwise it will not work folks so make sure you announce this okay so it's backed out so let's click back and then now it is right there gonna open it up and it's loading up apparently this can take up to three minutes according to explosion of fun so leave it don't touch any buttons until you're on the next screen folks oh and that's an eighth one this point folks it is worth noting that exp knows in the fun and um, when you buy this sd card they'll give you three licenses um to use on three devices if you want more licenses you'll have to 
ask them directly from for another license, folks. Otherwise, three should be enough for most people out there. Okay, so not did take about five minutes to note, but when it does note, you'll be prompted to enter your email on your password. This is the licenses that so stays and give you. So I'm just gonna enter mine. I'm just real nice guys. You do need to turn on your network to do this. So make sure you have Ethernet or Wi Fi when you're actually doing this. And there we are, guys. So if I just hide myself for a second, so you can see this, these are all the applications when they should install. So the first one we're gonna install is Retro Station. So we're gonna click install and we need to allow Retro Station and Swish to make changes to our device. So go to the settings, make sure it's enabled for unknown apps. Now if we click on it, it allows us to install it from here. So let not install then click on done. We need to open up the Retro Arc app because I was told to. So find Retro Arc and then open it because it needs to do this and extract everything, folks. So just be patient with this and just not to do its thing till it says import updated successfully and you're seeing this and then you can exit up the virtual arc and then we can open up the virtual stays in Android so you're looking for this icon I believe not the one with the circle because that's the installation we need the one that's without the circle so click on that one and you should see guys all the games in this second so we need to announce this i'm so excited guys because this is the first time Accidentally doing this. And this now now guys, we can play all the games. So we have Amiga 1700, we have our Ataris, your Sack, your Ninx, your Commodore, your Shrinkcast, your Gaming Watch, your Game Boys. Oh my god, this is amazing, guys! <laughs> Neo Zero, NES, Nintendo 64, DS, PlayStation, PSP, PSP mini games, Game Gear, Sega Genesis, Master System, Mega Swipe, SNES. This is amazing. Hey. So let me click on one here. So let me click on Super Nintendo.
Guys, this thing has blown my mind away. From the past hour, I've been playing some of my all-time favourite wrestle games. And I have to say, this product is awesome, folks. I cannot believe I have 20,000 games in my hand, folks. Like, seriously, look how tiny this is. The NES is in here. The SNES is in here. The PSP is in here. The Mega Drive is in here. The N64 is in here. It's all in here, folks. Um, honestly, this thing. I'm stunned, folks. I'm stunned. Officially stunned. As you can see, the company who did this is Explosion of Fun, folks. And they specialize in all things retro, folks. So anything from game pads to boxes. So whatever which role you can think of, they specialize in folks. And that's insane, the product we looked at today was the retro station and voice and site retro gaming system. And that's insane, we're getting to the price in a minute, but I do want to point out there is a 256 gigabyte variant, which is the one I have, and there's a 128 gigabyte variant, folks. So let's compare these. The 128 gigabyte version has 20,000 games across. 44 systems. The 256 gigabyte variant has 24,200 games across 65 systems, folks. And if you scroll down, and these are only consoles they support. And the ones not limited to the 256 version are this system Japan 255 version, the master system Japan version is limited to the 256 version, this is limited to the 256 version, the Super Famicom is limited to the 256 version but what most people want is the N64, the NES, SNES etc. Guess what? They are all on the 128 gigabyte version folks. So if you go for This one here, folks, the 120 gigabyte version, you're still getting the SNES, the N64, Sega Saturn, I think, is on the 128 gigabyte version. It's just, I think, additional powerful games that are on this 256 gigabyte variant so for most of you out there the 128 gigabyte version is all that you really need now let's look at the pricing first let's look at the 128 gigabyte version it sits at 41 euro which in pounds is 35 Pounds for the 128 gigabyte version, 
What about in dollars? I hear you ask. Well, let's check. $45 in the US for the one on which one a gigabyte version. So we need £35 and $45 for the N64, the NES, the SNES, Sega Master System. It's really all you need, folks, for most people. But for the 256 version, that is 105 euro, which converts it into pounds. It's 90 pounds for the 256 variant, which in the United States, I believe it's yeah, $115 for the 256 gigabyte version so unless you care about more games on there's more options to play like me i like more options to play things the 256 version is worth it in my opinion but if you're the average person who just wants the N64, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the SNES, the Master System, etc. The 128 gigabyte version is all that most people need, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks again to Exp Nosen of Fun for sending this product out for with you. And uh, with that all being said, have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.